Hi, Bobby Halton here with Eric Roden and Dr. Denise Smith, and we are at the Illinois Fire Services Institute where we're uh, participating and observing the cardiovascular carcinogenic effects of live fire training on firefighters, also looking at some of the fidelity of the fires and other, other aspects. But with us right now is Dr. Smith, who's actually looking at the cardiovascular effects. She also participated in the previous study and has been involved since the inception of this program. Dr. Smith, what are you looking at today in terms of the instructors and what they're going through during live fire training? Bobby, it's great to have you guys with us. Today we're going to be focused on looking at students during training evolutions and also looking at instructors during training evolutions. As you know, today is just one of the trials that the firefighters will be participating in. Today they'll be in a concrete building using pallet and straw fires and we'll be measuring the cardiovascular strain associated with that the thermal strain associated with that, as well as the carcinogenic exposure with the chemicals. It's a complicated study, so we're looking at blood clotting potential, we're looking at core body temperature, we're looking at heart rates during the evolutions and in recovery from the evolutions. We'll compare what's happening with the instructors who go through multiple bouts with the students who go through a single exposure. So other than getting out of the gear dock right after you get done with the fire, are there anything else that a firefighter should be thinking about in terms of protecting them cardiovascularly? Hydration, things of that issue? Absolutely. You went to the next biggest one. You need to cool down. You need to make sure you're not continuing to be exposed to smokes or products of combustion. And you need to hydrate. And firefighters underestimate how much they need to do in terms of hydration, rehydration. You need to drink more before you're on the training ground and you need to drink more after. Probably 24 hours, 48 hours after firefighting, you need to continue to aggressively push fluids.